Every night, just as the clock struck midnight, Shadow would slip out of the house. Shadow was a sleek black cat with piercing green eyes that gleamed eerily in the moonlight. During the day, he was a lazy and affectionate pet, curling up on his owner's lap and purring contentedly. But at night, he transformed into a different creature entirely. It all started a few weeks ago. Mrs. Thompson, Shadow's owner, noticed the cat had begun to disappear every night, returning only at dawn. At first, she thought nothing of it. Cats were nocturnal, after all, and Shadow had always been an adventurous spirit. But then she began to notice something disturbing. Every morning, Shadow would return with bloodstains on his paws. Worried that Shadow might be hunting birds or small animals, Mrs. Thompson decided to follow him one night. She waited until midnight, then slipped out the door, trailing the cat at a safe distance. Shadow moved swiftly and silently through the streets, his dark fur blending with the shadows. Mrs. Thompson followed him to the edge of town, where an old, abandoned house stood. She watched as Shadow squeezed through a broken window and disappeared inside. Heart pounding, she crept closer, peering through the dusty panes. Inside, the house was dimly lit by the moonlight streaming through the cracks in the walls. Shadow was standing in the middle of the room, surrounded by what looked like small, bloody offerings. As Mrs. Thompson watched, Horrified, Shadow began to chant in a low, guttural voice. Suddenly, the air in the room seemed to shimmer and ripple. A dark shape materialized before Shadow, growing larger and more menacing by the second. Mrs. Thompson realized with a start that she was witnessing some kind of ritual. Shadow wasn't just a cat, he was something far more sinister. She stumbled backward, tripping over a loose board and crashing to the ground. Shadow's head snapped up his green eyes glowing with an otherworldly light. Mrs. Thompson scrambled to her feet and ran, not stopping until she was safely back in her own home. The next morning, Shadow returned as usual, his paws stained with fresh blood. But Mrs. Thompson no longer looked at him with the same affection. She knew now that he was not just a cat, but a creature of darkness, and she could only pray that whatever he was summoning in that abandoned house would never come for her.